Hey guys, it's Carl. If you recall a couple months ago, I checked out the Logitech Mevo cameras. This is essentially a solution for wireless streaming with a multi-camera setup, a couple of these small little cameras. Typically for a multi-cam setup, you need uh, quite a bit of hardware. So for example, we've got a couple Sony cameras. You need to plug those into a PC, run OBS, uh, something like Streamlabs, just to get a multi-cam set up for something like um, a podcast. Or if you're doing something like uh, one of these YouTube videos where you need multi-cameras if you're checking out uh, different types of gear. If you're cooking, you want that multi-cam look because I know uh, it's just obviously more engaging. So Logitech actually came out with the new Mevo Go. And essentially what that is, instead of using these uh, little cameras, which you can still use if you already own it, you can run a multi-stream or a multi-camera setup using existing devices. And why I think this is so smart and so uh, handy Obviously, a lot of us probably still have uh, multiple devices kicking around or we have friends that have them. So for example, my daily, my 14 Pro Max, but I still have my 13 Pro from last year. And even this older iPhone SE with the good old uh, home button on the front, that can all still run the Mevo Go app with of course uh, iOS 14. And I think if you're on Android, you need uh, Android 8 or later. So to set this up, I've uh, obviously been planning to do a bit of a podcast myself. We'll get into my podcast section at uh, the end. So if you wanna skip Till then, I think we'll talk about something cool like uh, I've been checking out some pretty cool cars lately. We'll uh, skip to that. But in order to set this up hardware wise, you need your main controller. So I'm rocking uh, the iPad Pro. The first app that you'll need is the Mevo Multicam app. And what you'll need is a Mevo Pro, which essentially unlocks Mevo Go. And Mevo Pro is a paid subscription. It's 19 bucks a month. I know that you can get uh, 14 days for free if you want to give it a bit of a trial. I'll leave, of course, a link down below, which you can check. But once you have that downloaded, you can now install Mevo Go on all of your existing devices. So like I said, I have them pre-installed uh, on my different iPhones here. And essentially to set that up, you just need to hit Mevo Go, which you can see here, has this little new icon on it. And from there, you can start launching Mevo Go on each of your devices. And technically all you need is to have the devices connected to the same network and you could theoretically connect as many devices as you have lying around. So I challenge someone if you can get more than 10 camera setups or 10 different uh, multi-cams. I don't know what you would be recording. That would be uh, that interesting to have that many angles, but uh, I challenge you guys to do that. You can see that I've got three different angles here or three different devices, and you can actually share the video and audio of one and the screencast of other devices. So for my uh, little podcast session, if I were to connect uh, this main cam, so I'll just hit continue here. And right off the bat, this is connected automatically. And I've simply just connected all three of these devices and my main iPhone 14 Pro Max that's got uh, the main camera on it, which uh, I'll set up in a second. The iPhone SE, which will be the second camera and the screen capture on my one-year-old uh, 13 Pro. So we're gonna switch to the podcast section. I'll kind of create a bit of a setup. What I would definitely recommend for mobile use, just having these little mini tripods with the little uh, clamp for a phone are pretty handy so you can articulate it. Um, We'll do some movie magic and be recording straight off um, the iPhones now. So now we're recording through the Mevo Go app and you can actually see, we'll have a behind the scenes of uh, what this looks like uh, with all the different camera setups. So like I said, we've got phone one, phone two, and phone three, all on different angles. And phone three here is actually a, a bit of a screen recording. And if we chat about, um, a bit of my experience uh, with cars lately. So we're getting into the podcast section here. So I was actually just at an Audi event. We did the winter driving experience out uh, in Mont-Tremblant. Right now we'll just switch on over to uh, my screen recording here to kind of show uh, some of the crazy footage that we got from this Audi event. So we were drifting on ice uh, in Montreal, in Mont-Tremblant. And you can see here, I was uh, in this Audi RS e-tron uh, GT. And this FPV drone was uh, maybe around a foot away from this $200,000 EV and I was uh, shitting myself because obviously I couldn't see the drone. I barely know what I'm doing, uh, trying to drift around. And some of this footage is pretty, uh, pretty incredible. And what made this kind of cool, they kind of tailored it to an experience. I'll just switch back now to, uh, to my face. What made this cool was the entire experience that they had. So we checked into this uh, super nice chalet. It was uh, super modern. They had this really nice uh, four meal dinner cooked by uh, this uh, sustainable chef. So the entire experience was uh, super, super dope. But kind of moving on from that, talking about real talk of actual EVs. So the actual first EV that I think I'm gonna buy, I'm just gonna switch back to the screen recording here. So if we just hop on over to uh, my Instagram, 
I think you guys know that I've partnered with VinFast for close to a year now, and finally their VF8s are rolling around to the market here in Canada, so I think this will be the first SUV EV that I end up uh, purchasing. I'm kind of torn between the color choice, so I actually did this fun thing at the Canadian Auto Show where I actually got to uh, see some of their cars in flesh. You can see this cool little transition, but I'm uh, kind of talking about the color choice to get. Uh, I'll just switch back here. I'm not too sure uh, which color option that I should go for. So uh, I was leading towards the green. Maybe I just might keep it uh, simple and safe and get uh, the gray. Nick, I'm just gonna switch this camera to you right now. If you had a choice, which, uh, which would it be? It's gotta be the green. Gotta be the green. Love the green. The green is just so it says the green. Yep. So technically, if you can uh, see this right now, this uh, little operator device, if you had someone like Nick on this uh, operator and he could actually switch between uh, all the different uh, camera angles, I think that would be handy. But if you are a one person crew, you can actually just kind of switch yourself. And last but not least, I'm gonna talk about a car. If I wasn't gonna pick up an EV, I'm just gonna pull up here on screen. I'm eyeing this also. There's this used Mercedes wagon, so it's this 2019 C300, so it's actually not available in uh, the US, it's only in Canada, obviously the Europeans know their wagon game. I am a huge wagon fan, and um, it's kind of floating around that price, I know that um, it comes to personal preference, but I have been eyeing wagons forever. I've got a soft spot for them, it's, um, Kind of a toss up between like an SUV, which everyone has, but wagons I think are just so cool. It's like the ultimate dad mobile. Link can be in the back. And uh, yeah, like I said, I just have the biggest soft spot uh, for the wagon game. And I know there are a big cult following out there, um, but obviously the more popular ones are uh, SUVs. So amongst those two cars, obviously the VinFast, the C300 wagon, obviously if I had uh, endless pools of money, I would get the uh, Audi uh, RS e-tron GT 200K. Um, no problem, but um, yeah, it's been a, kind of a fun first podcast. Obviously the multi-cam setup is fun. Nick, dream car? Bentley Continental GT in that Bentley blue dream car. In the Bentley blue. Let me know uh, your guys' faves down below. And remember, I will leave uh, links for all of the Mevo stuff. If we actually switch uh, out of the Mevo space, we're still uh, recording. You can see this uh, interesting little setup. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Remember, there's a free trial, 14 days for free. It's around a 19 bucks US to uh, join the membership. Super, super useful if you've got multiple devices already uh, kicking around. And remember, if you're in the ecosystem and you already have the Mevo cams, you can still sync these all up uh, together. So dope way to have a multi-camera setup. Let me know uh, your thoughts down below in the comments and I'll catch you in one of my next ones. And let me know what next podcast episode to do for my next vid. Peace.